Hello my lovelies, it's uh, Rosie here with a little bit of rosy coloured magic and I thought I would come down to the beach in Rottingdean. I had the thought to make this video in the centre of Croydon <laughs> to represent more what people's uh, collective reality is rather than this subjective reality that is my reality that I have worked towards and chosen which is I live two miles down the road from this and uh, this is what I envisaged as my personal paradise and it's uh, what I have created and it means the world to me because it actually allows me to find peace in my day every day when I look at the ocean, even from afar. And I'm sharing this with you because I talk a lot about co-creating our reality, but I don't think people often realise what that means. And what I want to connect to here is this idea that there is a subconscious that we each have, and then there is a collect collective subconscious. And that collective subconscious is one that is made up of everybody's subconsciouses all pulled together. And so every town has its own collective subconscious, every country, every continent, and the whole planet has its collective subconscious. In our world, in, in the UK, there's been a lot of unsettlement the last couple of weeks with the uh, general elections and then the hung parliament. And what I've been inviting you to do is to consider the collective subconscious as like a cloud storage. And I'm asking you to be focused on which files and which programs you want to open up. As in, what do you want to co-create now that we have a hung parliament and anything could happen? What would we like to see happen? What sort of policies do we want in place? Like when, when something isn't clear, it means that more clarity is needed. And instead of looking outside of ourselves for more clarity, the uh, challenge is to look inside of ourselves for more clarity. So how do we achieve that? Well, we get into a feeling state. We imagine something and then we notice whether what we're imagining is something that makes us feel good inside and expansive or whether it makes us feel constricted uh, and tight. And if you're considering a particular outcome and it makes you feel constricted and tight, then that's not something you want to energise. And so, if you don't want to energise it, don't talk about it, don't focus on it, it, don't think about it, don't worry about it. Just hand it over to source of all that is. And then get on with speaking about, thinking about, talking about, dreaming about, uh, contemplating, imagining how it, the situation could be, what it would take to feel good. The power of the spoken word is incredibly powerful. What you talk about, you manifest. Thoughts are things, you make them vocalised, then they become more powerful. So be really careful what you're vocalising. And please play with that little trick. Just notice your body's response to what you think about. If it feels good, say yes to it. If it doesn't, let it go, hand it over. I'll leave you with that, my lovelies. Rosie here, have a beautiful one. Lots of love, bye.